Uh-oh, that sounds like Tom Moss. Oh, and a rascal funling. That's not a good combination. Nearby, Gordon was racing around the track. He was proud of being one of the strongest and fastest engines on Sodor. But he ran into a rascal funling. <laughs> Hello Gordon! Wow, you are fast! I know something that will make you even faster! Gordon was very interested. Go on? Well, the more tenders you have, the faster you go! What? That's ridiculous! Oh yeah? Then why does your brother, the Flying Scotsman, have two tenders? Gordon thought that his brother had two tenders to cope with long distances, but maybe the funding was right about it making him faster. So, to make yourself faster, all you have to do is borrow someone else's tender. Well, I guess I could give it a go. And off he went. <laughs> <laughs> the plan's working. He's going to do all of the hard work for us. <laughs> so Gordon searched for an engine with a tender. Henry was nearby having a nap. So Gordon carefully borrowed his tender. OK, let's see if this makes me any faster. Strangely, Gordon felt as though he was going faster, even though he wasn't. Ha ha! Maybe if I collect more tenders, I'd go even faster! So he looked for more tenders. The Flying Scotsman was nearby filling up with water. And James was just around the corner, waiting at a signal. Ha ha! I'll be the fastest train ever! But... The tenders were all quite heavy, so they actually slowed him down. Oh, I'm not going any faster. I don't think this works. I guess I'll have to give everyone their tenders back. But when he stopped at a signal... <laughs> Tom took all of the tenders. Oh no, I've lost everyone's tender. Oh, the indignity. <laughs> Gordon was very embarrassed. Luckily... Hi Gordon, are you alright? No. A funling told me that the more tenders I have, the faster I'd go. But then Tom Moss took all of the tenders from me. Oh no! Sounds like you met a rascal funling. Oh, how am I going to get them back? Don't worry, we'll help you. Oh, thank you. So they came up with a plan. <laughs> what? Why have you stopped? Uh-oh. Uh Thomas had put up a wall of cargo on the track. Hey Tom, I don't think you're strong enough to break it down. Tom wanted to prove Thomas wrong. <laughs> Come on, Tom, catch me if you can! Tom chased Thomas. Uh oh! Okay, Funling, change the points! They sent Tom back to his tunnel. 
Well done, Funling. Now to get the tenders back. Oh, what am I supposed to do with five tenders? Huh? Maybe you should use them to run away really quickly before I catch you. Uh-oh. Run away! Well done, Gordon. You saved the tenders. So he gave everyone their tender back. I'm sorry for taking everyone's tender. You don't need tenders to be fast. Yeah, you're already the fastest engine on Soda. Only when I'm not around. And they all laughed. So Tom and the Rascal Funling may not have succeeded today, but I'm sure they'll work together again soon. <laughs> oh no, it's Tom Moss. <laughs> but who's he going to fool today? <laughs> Meanwhile, Thomas was helping two Funlings sell ice cream. Ice cream! Get your ice cream here! Loads of flavours! But they had to stop at a signal. And Tom Moss switched the trucks. But they didn't notice. Ice cream! <laughs> they bumped into James. Hi James, would you like an ice cream? Oh yes please. May I have a nice red strawberry ice cream please? No problem. They went into their ice cream truck and gave James what they thought was strawberry ice cream. Oh, looks delicious! Nom, nom, nom. Ah! That does not taste good at all! What? Really? Why? It tastes like an old bucket! An old bucket? How? Tom Moss knew why. Tom had put his own ice cream in that truck and he had turned a red bucket into the red ice cream. So they thought it was strawberry, but it wasn't. I'm sorry, but I can't eat this. Don't worry, James. Sorry about the taste. But that wasn't the only ice cream that Tom had made. <laughs> Thomas and the Funlings ran into Percy. Hi, Percy. Would you like some ice cream? Oh, yes, please. May I have a nice yellow lemon ice cream, please? Yep, no problem. And they gave him what they thought was lemon ice cream. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. That does not taste good at all. What? Oh, no. It tastes like a car. Tom knew why. He had found a yellow car and used parts of it to make a yellow ice cream. But they didn't know that. I'm sorry, but I can't eat this. Don't worry, Percy. Sorry about the taste. But Tom Moss wasn't done. Thomas and the Funlings ran into Hulk. Hi, Hulk. Would you like some ice cream? Yes, please. May I have orange flavoured orange ice cream, please? Yep, yeah, no problem. And they gave Hulk what they thought was orange flavoured ice cream. Thank you. Hum, 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 hum. Ugh, that does not taste good at all. It tastes like a tree. A tree? How? Tom Moss knew. He had found an orange tree and used it to make the ice cream. <laughs> oh, why do our ice creams taste so strange? Guys, I think someone's playing a game with us. Whoa, no! By who? I don't know. 
but I know how we can get them back. And Thomas told the Funlings his plan. Later, ice cream, get your ice cream here. Tom was hungry after fooling Thomas and the Funlings, and was in the mood for some ice cream. So he followed Percy. Ice cream, get your ice cream here. Percy dropped an ice cream. Tom found it, and he thought that it was a chocolate ice cream. But when he tried it, it tasted like mud. Aha! Got you, Tom. You switched our ice cream. So how do you like your mud ice cream? <laughs> Tom was embarrassed, so he ran away. Get him! But Tom, being Tom, got away. Where's he gone? Tom? Tom? Oh, we lost him. Sorry, guys. But now that he's gone, why don't we re-deliver some proper ice cream? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So they gave James strawberry ice cream, Percy lemon ice cream, and Hulk orange ice cream. And as for Tom Moss, well, he ran back to his tunnel to think up of his next plan. <laughs> what was that? That night, just before the engines were going to leave for Tidmouth Sheds, Salty warned them about the ghost train, who had been spotted by lots of different engines that night. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt had a very exciting job for Thomas. Thomas, I have a very important job for you today, but you must finish all of your normal jobs first. There is to be a grand firework display at a castle tonight for the Funlings. You must pick them up at the station by the tunnel and take them to the castle. Thomas was so excited, he quickly left to complete his jobs. As Thomas moved some quarry rocks, the station started to get busier and busier. Oh, I can't wait to come back here later with all of the funlings. <laughs> oh no, Tom Moss had heard Thomas. I hope he doesn't prank anyone. Uh oh, what are you doing with that truck full of stones, Tom Moss? Oh no, Tom Moss knows that's the only way to get to the funding station. <laughs> How is Thomas going to pick up the fundings now? Thomas collected Annie and Clarabel and headed for the funding station. Until suddenly... There's stones on the track. No train can get to the Funlings now. What are we going to do? The Funlings waited and waited and waited until night came. Where's Thomas? No one knew what to do. Maybe the fireworks will have to be cancelled. 
suddenly, Salty appeared. He told Thomas and Percy to go to a shed because at night time, the ghost train will appear again. Thomas and Percy were scared when suddenly What was that? Ah, it's the ghost train. All of the trains were so scared. It's only Ghosty! And look, he's come to save the day! He's the only train who can go through rocks! Ghosty picked up all of the funlings and took them to the castle where that night they all enjoyed the fireworks. Hello Rascal Funling, we have an important job for you, you must guard this gold. We know Tom Moss wants it, so if you see him, shout Tom Moss! Then we'll all come and make sure he doesn't take it, got it? Yes, 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 guard the gold, guard the gold. Don't do that! We might not believe you next time! Now guard the gold! <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, Tom Moss is coming! Help, Tom Moss! Help, Tom Moss! Why is no one coming? Tom Moss, Tom Moss, help! One too. I'll just get it. Stop right there, Funling! What? You took the gold! I knew we couldn't trust you! No, 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 no! Tom Moss took the gold! No, no! You're just kidding again! No, I'm not! But you kept saying just kidding before! I know, I know! I shouldn't have done that! Because now you don't believe me! I'm sorry! Tom Moss really did take it. Okay, okay. We believe you, but you shouldn't joke around. Do you think you can guard the gold sensibly this time? Yes, I can do that. And the rascal funling learnt his lesson and guarded the gold for the rest of the day. Wizard Funling, I have your cauldron! Ah, yes! I've been waiting all week for this! an idea. Looks like it's time for the Bat Engine. engine, but I'm sorry, I've lost Tom Moss. 
I don't know where he's hiding the cauldron. Hmm, I have an idea. I'm about to give you your first ever superpower. You're called the Bat Engine, so how about I give you the ability to turn into bats? Then you can find my cauldron. Oh yes, that's an excellent idea. Here we go. Whoops, that didn't work. No. 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 Whoops. Hang on. No. No. Got it. Here goes. It worked. All of the bats searched the island for Tom Moss and the cauldron. When suddenly, there he is. Aha! Got you, Tom Moth! Uh -oh. There's no escape this time! There you go, Wizard Funling! Now you can make the spells you've been waiting all week for! Spells? No! I need the cauldron to make soup! <laughs> Super Funling is always on the lookout for danger, and he tries to get there as fast as he can. Help! Help! A cat is stuck up a tree! It can't get down! Looks like Thomas and that cat need Super Funling! I think I'll use the Funling Express. Um, you can't. What? Why not? Well, two Funlings were really hungry, so they're using it to go to McDonald's. Oh, well then, Racer Funling can drive me there. Oh no, he can't. What? He's training with McQueen in Radiator Springs. Oh, looks like I'll have to run. Thomas, I'll be there in about, um, ten minutes. Yay! Go Super Funling! Woo! Help! I'm coming! Oof! Ow! Oof. I'm still coming! Uh, uh, phew! Okay, I'm here. What? Chase and Marshall had already saved the cat. How did you get here so fast? We're always on the lookout for trouble in our lookout tower. As soon as we saw the cat, we were on our way. Hmm, look out tower, eh? Well, well done for saving the cat. And off he went. Help! Please help! The Joker has stolen a very valuable crown! <laughs> do, 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 do. What? Looks like Edward needs super fun lane! I'm coming! <laughs> okay, where is the Joker? Um, he's over there, with Batman. <laughs> what? How did you get here so quickly? 
Well, I look out for danger in my bat cave. As soon as I saw the Joker, I had to catch him. Hmm, bat cave, eh? Maybe I can make my own headquarters. Huh? And I can call it the Super Funling Bat Cave. Hey, don't call it Bat Cave. That's what mine's called. Huh? Oh, fine. Well, I'm off to build my Super Funling HQ. So Super Funling found a nearby cave that he liked, and he asked Fixit Funling to make it into a high tech headquarters. There, all done. Wow, looks great. How does it work? I've installed a big screen and it will show you what's happening anywhere you want. Try it. OK, um, Toby's windmill. Ooh, look, it's Edward with his crown. Let's try another. Um, ooh, Wellsworth. Hmm, an express carriage. Oh yes, Queen Elsa is visiting. Hmm, I hope no one tries to disrupt her visit. Better check on Tom Moss. Uh-oh, he's heading towards Wellsworth. He's up to no good. I've got to warn Elsa. I'll leave you to it then. Luckily, Super Funling got there before Tom. This is a nice express. Queen Elsa, Tom Moss is coming. We have to get off this express. Right, OK. Uh-oh, I think we're moving. Tom had arrived and he'd started pushing the express. <laughs> oh no, what are we going to do? We need to stop the express. Do you think you can freeze the wheels? I can do one better than that. <laughs> she froze the whole carriage. Tom couldn't move it. Ha-ha! Uh -oh. <laughs> Caught you, Tom! Uh -oh. Tom panicked and ran away. Thank you for coming to save me, Super Funling. If you hadn't have arrived, I would have thought it was Gordon that was pulling the carriage and not Tom. I could have ended up anywhere. No problem, Queen Elsa. Queen Elsa, are you alright? Are you okay? I came as fast as I could. It's okay, I've got this under control. But how did you know about Tom Moss? I saw him on a screen in my new secret Super Funling headquarters. You have a secret HQ? Oh, uh, uh, whoops, I said too much. Well, I think I'm done here. Off I go. So Queen Elsa was safe, Tom returned back to his tunnel, and Super Funling went back to his new high-tech HQ. Now it'll be much easier keeping everyone out of harm's way. One day, a rascal Funling was bored. Bored, 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 what to do, what to do. Oh. I know, let's have a bit of fun. <laughs> Trains don't like stones on the track, it makes them derail. <laughs> and here comes Thomas. <laughs> this will be good. Oh no, a stone. Funling, please can you remove it? Yeah, of course. There. Thank you, Funling. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, it didn't work. C come on. Hmm, I'll put a stone back on the track, and I'll use something else to make sure a train derails. <laughs> If the stone doesn't knock the drain off, this definitely will. Oh, and here comes Percy. <laughs> this will be funny. <sighs> Goodbye. He rolled a boulder down the track. But the boulder hit the stone and it knocked both of them off the track so Percy could pass by safely. 
<laughs> what? The boulder knocked the stone off. Oh! I can't believe that didn't work. The rascal finally desperately tried to think up of another prank that would actually work. Come on, think! Huh? Oh, I've got an idea. Look what Henry's pulling. Two trucks full of gold. Now I just need to wait until he stops so I can uncouple his trucks. Oh, how lucky! He stopped for water. Now's my chance. But then... Salty arrived. Oh, Salty! Move! Hmm, maybe I can squeeze in between the two of them. Oh, I hope I uncouple the right trucks. It wasn't long before Henry and Salty were on their way. <laughs> I've got his gold! I've got his... fish? Oh no! I did uncouple the wrong tracks! No! The rascal farming just could not successfully pull off a prank. Oh, where am I going wrong? <laughs> huh? Oh no, it's Tom Moss! <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> He's blocking off track, so the engines have to go that way, which leads to... Oh no, he's going to cover an engine in paint! Oh no, his prank's going to work! That's not fair, I've been trying to prank engines all day! I've got to stop him! So he ran to the set of points. Edward, stop! Don't go that way! Tom Moss will cover you in paint! And why should I believe you? You're a rascal funling! I'm telling the truth! Sorry, but I think you're trying to prank me. Now excuse me? But the rascal funling really didn't want Tom Moss's prank to work. There! Now you can't go that way! Rascal funling, change these points now! But Tom saw what the rascal funling had done, and he realised that his prank wasn't going to work anymore. Uh -oh. What was that? It was Tom Moss! And up ahead, Edward saw Tom Moss run away with his trucks full of paint. Uh -oh. Huh? You were telling the truth. Uh -oh. Watch out everyone, we just saw Tom Moss. We know, this rascal funling saved me from him. You're a hero! Well, I... Hmm, yeah, I guess I am. And earlier, we saw you save Percy by knocking a stone off the track with a boulder. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Sorry to bother you, but has anyone seen two trucks of fish anywhere? Yes, they're by the water tower because I uncoupled the wrong trucks. Oh, oh I mean... You must have just left them there, <laughs> Wow, you really are a hero today, Rascal Funling. And everyone thanked him for all the good things he's done. So, he had been a bit of a hero, but for all the wrong reasons. Thomas and Percy, have you heard the tale of the treasure ghost? No? There's a ghost in the harbour who owns a treasure chest. However, it's a trap. People say he lets it be stolen so that he can find out who are thieves. Then he pranks the thieves because they deserve it. For it's bad to steal. Apparently, 
He has a reward for someone who is good. Anyway, it's just a story. Or is it? I don't like ghosts. Me neither. Dum da dum dum dum. Wait. Oh, a treasure chest. Open it. Open it. Oh, we're rich. Let's steal it. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Oh. <laughs> Huh? That was strange. <laughs> what? Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> oh no! It's on Henry! No, don't leave, Henry! Come back with our treasure! We got it back! Now, where shall we hide it so no one else steals it? <laughs> hmm... Huh? No! Where did it go? Look up there! How did it get up there? Hmm, we need to get it down. Hmm. Finding this chest. But it's worth it. We're rich. <laughs> Yay, it's Tom Moss. <laughs> Tom Moss, can you help us? We need to move and hide this chest. Don't steal it. We trust you. Now, where shall we hide it? Hmm. <laughs> you back for this, Tom Moss. Uh -oh. Come back here. School Funlings, this chest doesn't belong to you. It looks like a sailor's chest. 
It's really bad to steal, you know. I'm going to take this back. So Thomas collected the chest and left to put it back in the harbour. No! There we go. Whoever lost this chest will find it here. Well done, Thomas. Huh? You're the treasure ghost. Yes, I am. The rascal Funling stole this chest, so I've been pranking them. Ha 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 ha. And you did the right thing and brought it back. Therefore, you win. You can keep the treasure. Really? Thank you. Well, you deserve it. Bye, Thomas. Enjoy the treasure. What a great day! Can this day get any worse? Yes, it can. Ghost pirates! Ah! Hello, James. Spooky night tonight, isn't it? Y yeah, especially at the harbour. Ghosts! Ghosts? At the harbour? But that's where I'm taking this treasure. What is James talking about? Ship ahoy! Ha <laughs> ha! What was that? Hello Percy, looks like all the treasure is here. Pirates! Ah! Thomas! Salty! Am I glad to see you? Wait a minute! Thomas! Where are you taking all that gold to? I'm taking all this gold to the harbour with Salty. It's going straight to the mainland. No! 
You can't take it to the harbour. There are ghost pirates who will steal it. They're stealing everything. Oh no, that's not good. What are we going to do? Hmm, well, you know you said they steal everything. What about we give them prank cargo to steal? We just need help from a prank engine. Who could we possibly ask? Moss, I need to ask a favour. Can you prank someone for us? We need you to swap this cargo for prank cargo and take it to the harbour. <laughs> Thanks, Tomos. <laughs> Those ghost pirates won't steal from the harbour again. <laughs> now, what happened to the gold? Oh no, Tom Moss still has it. <laughs> <laughs> 